Hey, good morning everybody. This is John from Volkswagen Planet and today we are going to start the rewire process of the 1972 Super Beetle and we are working on this speedometer. So I figure a real quick and simple um, part of knocking the speedometer out is to knock out the fuel sending unit and I'm going to show you which wires we will be working with today. We will be working with this wire right here and we will be working with this wire right there so let's get started and uh, like we always do we will follow the wires show you where the wires go where they start where they end up so we will put our little magnifying glass on the black wire here let me get the uh, conversion chart over so we'll be nice and ready okay so if you're looking at the uh, the fuel gauge right there this this um, this part where it actually where the wire actually goes is going to literally be right um, below the fuel vibrator there'll be a like a spade sticking out or um, I guess it's a it's a, it's a male um, electrical connector and that's going to be right there so that I'm showing you so anyways it, this is going to be we'll, we'll follow the wire like we usually do and I'm going to tell you as we're going along <clears throat> excuse me about how long these wires are <clears throat> excuse me okay so we know it's a black wire and we know it's a it's a 0.5 what that 0.5 means is millimeter and uh, German this whole all these dimensions and uh, configurations are in um, metric so we need to convert them over to <clears throat> excuse me the gauge which we use here in uh, the United States so if we were just to do the strictly uh, the wire no black to black 0.5 millimeter will be a 22 gauge wire so let's follow this wire and see where it goes We know it's going to go to the um, uh, fuel sending unit, but I'm just going to show you if you were to follow this on the wire diagram so you'd understand what you're looking at and um, everything else. So, <clears throat> we're going to go up. Now, in, when we go to the car, you're going to see that this wire here literally is maybe uh, about two foot long. As you can tell in the, the diagram, it would be about two miles long by, you know, the way this thing has to um, lay itself out flat and not cross each other, crisscross. But we can tell it goes right into the fuel sending unit, just like we thought. And again, there's there's two wires on this, the fuel sending unit. Again, they're both 0.5. One's a black wire, and the wire below it is brown. I'm going to just basically trace this wire right back to where we started from. Now, you can use any color you want to, but more than likely, um, well, this is a pretty worn out and replaced wire, so... Your wire may be a different color, but if your car has the exact same wire, uh, has the original wire, it will be a black 22 gauge wire. So we're going to scroll this real back real quick. Just want to make sure we're not missing nothing. I don't think we are. I think this is a pretty straightforward wire. And I'm going to show you something. Uh, when we get done with this okay so it's gonna go right back to where we started from there's nothing there's no cutoffs there's no uh, splits or nothing like that so we know that wire is gonna stay right there so we're gonna go down to the brown wire which um, I'll show you on this the uh, speedometer 
where they were hooked up at one time or they have been hooked up. But this right here is telling me it's just a ground because of this little circle like this and where it's located and everything else. So this is a ground wire. It is a brown, as you can tell in the diagram. It's a 0.5 millimeter. 0.5 is 22 gauge. Now let me trace this back. I'm pretty sure it's just a solid straight brown wire, but I want to make sure because uh, when we get into some of these, there's going to be breaks and there's going to be splitting off to this and switching over to different colors. But this, I think, is a straight, a straight uh, wire, if I can remember correct. When we just look this up here. I still want to say it's a, uh, it's one solid wire. Again, it's about. Um, Probably two foot, two to three feet tops in uh, length, and that's just going to go right over to the plug-in. Now, the fuel sending unit is right, is this circle right here where it says G. Now, this would be right on top of the gas tank. So if you open your hood, you're going to see the big black gas tank on the 1972 Super Beetle, and you're going to see this, this circle on top of the gas tank. And what that circle is, if you pull that out, that's actually the fuel sending unit. And this is where the wires hook up to the sending unit. Now we know that it's just two, there's two wires, one brown and one black. So we're going to go all the way back down. And um, so we're going to go back to where we started at. And then I'm going to show you something. And we're going to wrap this video up. I know it's a little bit lengthy video, but you know, I will really go a little bit overboard then cut you guys short. So right there is where it ends. So let me put you uh, on a, let's take a quick break and I'll show you what I was talking about on the back of the um, speedometer. Okay, we're back. I wanna show you guys a point of reference here before I show you to the actual speedometer. Now, what my point of reference is, is the fuel vibrator right here. And I'm going to show you on the actual speedometer what we're looking uh, for right here. And I'm going to, this, this little um, circle is why I wanted to show you the actual speedometer itself. So let's go take a look at the speedometer and hopefully this will clear um, the, the diagram up a little bit. Okay, so here we are with a speedometer. Now we have the fuel vibrator right there. And what we have is what I was talking about, that little circle. That little circle right here is where the wire goes in from the um, fuel sending unit. So that was what I was referring to. So uh, it's not just, uh, just a, a wire going nowhere. Now the other wire I was talking about could go right here. This is a ground. You could take this off and put an eyelet here, but on, the, on my 72, there is a, uh, like a, like a star, like a little starburst where about five or six wires go into the ground. So I hope that helps and hopes clear, hope that clears it up for you. So let's go back to the, uh, wiring diagram and finish this up. All right, guys. So what we did in this video is we took and we ran the, fuel sending units, the two wires to the fuel sending unit, which was a brown 22 gauge wire and a black 22 gauge wire. And um, that's really it for this video. So as always, like, comment, share, subscribe, thumbs up, thumbs down, um, or don't. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. This is going to be first of many videos. So as always, guys, God bless you. God bless your family. God bless our great nation, the United States of America. And if you want to uh, contact me in private, instead of use, leaving comments below, don't forget to hit VolkswagenPlanet.com. Hit the Contact Us area. Leave your name and a little brief message, and I'll get back to you. It comes straight to my cell phone. So we'll catch you on the next video, guys. Have a good day.